I had two great loves in my life. One was animals and one was kids. And I just realized that I felt very happy when I was around them. I was in the US at 18 when I came back and I actually knew that I wanted to be here and I walked into the slum areas. It was, it was, it was a big eye opener. It was the Ambedkar Nagar slum in Kaf Parade. I met a, a girl who was also 18. I didn't speak a word of Hindi, she didn't speak a word of English, but somehow we just connected. And every day after that day, I would go to her home and she would explain to me a little bit about her culture, her life. A few kids ran in, they sat down, they wanted to be taught. Um, so that really became my first classroom and my first experience of the work that I was going to do happened from that first day in the community. This was such a massive opportunity. I mean, there were so many children in the community that had the potential to be absolutely anything that they wanted to be, and they just didn't have the educational opportunity. Um, so that's really how Akanksha started. We got a few college students together. Um, we got a little bit of money from friends and family. We rented our first bus. We found a school after much trouble um, to teach the kids in and sort of put all these pieces together and brought the kids into the classroom and started teaching them. So those first days, the kids took complete advantage of us. They would come into um, school and run to the bathrooms and jump into the um, basins and come back drenching because they didn't have water at home. They would throw clay up on the ceiling and wait for it to drop on one of our heads. They would hang out of windows. So there were lots and lots of little, little steps of going forwards, going backwards until it all came together. Well, Akanksha has sort of grown from that informal college project to a really sustainable organization that does two things today. One is it runs after school programs that have really sort of figured out what it takes to turn around a child's life. And the second and sort of new and, and more um, impactful direction that Akanksha is moving in is actually adopting government schools and running them privately. When we set up Teach for India, there were many challenges. Um, one was, would we be able to find the best and the brightest young people and would they want to come in and teach full time for two years in some of our poorest schools and do something which today is not considered the most aspirational thing. Finding young people that want to change the world, bringing them together, engaging them in very, very rigorous training, seeing the miracles that happen every single day in the classroom um, and the changes that they're making. I mean, in the last 18 months since our first cohort started, um, we're just radically seeing children change from not being able to have any confidence, not being able to even say A, B, C, D, to writing full pages, standing up with confidence, aspiring to do um, pretty incredible things with their own lives. So it's been a, a very, very interesting journey. Of course, the big challenge is now to take it to scale and get thousands of young people across the country to engage in this movement. My vision for uh, Teach for India and Akanksha is really um, one and the same, that the two organizations through different channels should really ensure that one day every child in this country gets an excellent education.